NXT. What up? NXT, folks. Um, NXT, what we got really going on tonight for NXT, eh? With, what are we with now? The second week of this taping and one more next week? Well, the final one after, um, you know, this week and whatnot. Well, the final one's next week. You, you know where I'm going with this. But NXT, what do they have going on NXT tonight, folks? We do kick it off with Mandy Rose versus Saray. Um, Very interesting way to kick off this show, um, especially with Saray versus Mandy Rose. Very something I would have never really expected and whatnot. Uh, the match itself wasn't bad. Honestly, it, it wasn't that bad of a match. I can say that. Now, the ending of it, of Saray and that damn hesitation drop kick, uh, which I feel like, <laughs> that move looks deadly. Let me say that right now. With that drop kick, like, falling down to somebody, it's like you just snap your head back. And, you know, it hit Mandy Rose, I guess. And then next thing you know, Mandy Rose's face is covered. And Gigi Dolan and um, JC Jane end up uh, taking her away. I don't even know what the name of this stable they got going on or, you know, why Mandy Rose is the leader, but we're going to see where this goes, but, um, yeah, they end up taking Mandy Rose away, um, covering her face with a towel, I don't know if she was bleeding or whatnot, but I guess she got hit so hard that it may have messed up her face now, so Saray won by count out and whatnot, it is still a way to protect, um, Rose, because if Rose lost right here clean, then what is the point of her being the leader of, uh, stable then, that your leader's already lost, okay? It's not QT Marshall out there, all right? But, um, yeah, and, you know, Saray, she got the win by count out, so it still protects both in a way. So, um, I want to see where this is going to go. Or like, especially this whole Mandy Rose stable. I'm still trying to figure out where this is happening. So, um, what will happen, I don't know. But, um, like I said, they covered her face up. Next thing, you know, we got, um, chair sessions with Champa. I like calling it that now. Chair, ses chair Sessions with Champa. Sounds like a podcast. Sounds like an album. Sounds like a lot of things. But Champa sitting there by himself. No Timothy Thatcher. Old Toothless Timmy is hurt right now because of Ridge Holland and, you know, Pete Dunn's, I don't know, the British Invasion 2.0 crew or wherever this is going. Uh, like I said, very stiff competitors right there. But, um, yeah. Uh, Champa says he's going to um, take out Holland tonight. And, of course, he kicks the chair over and walks off then. Uh, next, we have Kyle O'Reilly versus Duke Hudson. Very solid match. Not bad. Um, of course, they were selling O'Reilly's um, rib pain and whatnot. You know, his ribs are taped up. I never really thought O'Reilly was ever going to lose this match. This was a good match, though. I will say that. Say that. Um, Duke Hudson, I think they see something in him ever since his breakout tournament. So, we'll see where this goes. But um, this was not a bad match, though. It was solid. O'Reilly still ended up getting the win with the heel hook. So, um... Not a bad match at all. Uh, of course, they announced the wedding of Dexter Loomis and Andy Hartwell on September 14th. So, uh, we'll see where that goes. Next, the new NXT UK champion, um, Ela Dragunov, came out. Uh, basically, the man <laughs> this man went through a war at NXT TakeOver as he was limping his way down to the ring. Like I said, you got to put that in a match of the year com uh, contender right there. But Dragunov said, you know, before I leave... And whatnot, and go back to the UK and go home. He wanted to be out here because he felt alive, and he's never felt more alive. He likes it here; he really does. And he will see you all see him again one day back in NXT. Uh, but right now, he's showing the world what it takes to be the NXT UK champion. And you know, he questioned who will be next. Who is going to be the man to take the title off him? Because the ring general has fallen. So long live the Cesar right now. Who? Yeah, that's a good question. Who will be Ela Dragon off for that title? I think that's going to be a long time from now. Um, whoever faces him for that belt. But I think he's going to be champion for a very, very long time. Um, and whatnot. But hopefully we see him back here in the regular NXT at some point in the future. So, uh, like I said, after the match with Walter, the second time with Walter, <laughs> and whatnot, you thought the first match was good. The one at TakeOver was just fucking balls to the wall, okay? If you ain't seen that match yet, you can take your ass and go look at that match right now. Like I said, that's a match of the year contender right there, all right? So that match was batshit crazy. Go watch that. Um, but next, they went to uh, sit there and interview with Kaylee Ray with that... Um, What's the guy's name? Uh, Rash Marzaki. I think I'm saying his name right. Uh, they had an interview with Kayla Rado. Um, <sighs> asking her if she's in NXT full-time now. And that, you know, um, she says NXT needs a new top player around here right now. 
But uh, Marsaki said, you know, there's a lot of top players in uh, NXT right now. You know, we got Moon, we got EO, we got Zoe Stark, Gonzalez, and all of them. And she talked about how none of them aren't really doing anything right now, okay? And um, she'll take out, <clears throat> you don't know what I'm capable of, and she'll take out anybody that gets in her way. So she does want the NXT Women's Championship right now, so she knows who she has to go through. Carmelo Hayes, the new breakout star winner, you know, basically talk about all the champ. Uh, you know, challenges he can uh, face right now. The champions he could face. And he hasn't decided yet. Next thing you know, Electra Lopez showed up saying that the North American title belongs to Santos Escobar. Next thing you know, Legato and them came up. Then, listen, now you go get a pass right now, right? And you got an opportunity. But it's best you st it's wise to stay out of my business right now, all right? Hey, he's basically, you just threatened me? All right, I'm going to keep that in mind then. Imperium went against uh, Spud. And I guess he's got a new tag partner this time. Grayson Waller, I have no idea who this is, making his debut. Uh, apparently, since this show is tape, I heard that they had crowd noise because nobody seemed to care about this. Uh, Spud, I have no idea what they're doing, but they've given him an attack partner. Waller, I'm not really sure what to think right now. Imperium got the win because they got the win, so it's not much I could say from this. Um, next, Gargano and them were backstage, the way... Um, Indy, you know, telling, um, Gargano to give Dex Loomis a chance as he told him to be normal. No, uh, Candice LeRae, I forgot Candice LeRae is pregnant, I didn't really know that, or did I talk about that last week? Um, I think I did, I, I don't even know, uh, but yeah, I guess Candice LeRae is pregnant right now, so I guess she's gonna be off, uh, TV for the foreseeable future, or oh, I have to believe she did say that, um, she would try to make every show she can, uh, you know, during this point in time, so... Good for her, though, at the end of the day, though. Like I said, it's not the, it's not like the Becky things. I was going to say, is it really best for business? No, but I'm like, nah, it's not like the Becky situation, no. Like, if it's the Becky one, there was some right for people to go with that. And from a business perspective, though, to criticize that whole thing over a year ago. But, um, yeah. Um, no Candice out there. So, yeah, Gargano, Indy, and Loomis were out there. Uh, they went against Eli Drake, which I thought was a heel versus heel match. My friend says Gargano is more of a, a tweener, but the fans were chanting Johnny Wrestling and Let's Go Johnny, so obviously uh, Eli Drake there was the heel. Um, Gargano was going for the win until, for some reason, Loomis put his hand out, reach out for him for some reason, but um, Drake ended up hitting the blunt force trauma for the win, so um, good win for him right there. Um, Gargano, like I say, he's still stuck in this way thing. I don't know where he's going with this part, but uh, especially with this whole Loomis and uh, Indy wedding coming up, I'm not sure where he's going to go all the way. Uh, MSK were in the back telling that, you know, uh, Lord Cannon Burst deserve a shot at the tag titles. Say we never beat them, so they want their rematch, they can get their rematch because they never did lose the tag title. So that match is going to be next week. Raquel Gonzalez went against Jesse Kamea. Um, Taya was out there. I'm thinking maybe a match between Taya and Gonzalez at some, at some point. Gonzalez got the window on Kamea, so um, we'll see where this feud goes. Next week, they announced the debut of Mei Ling, um, which I don't know where this is going to go. I, honestly, I'm not sure where this is going anymore. Boa is... Dude, I, this Boa shit's not working. I know Zia Lee must be really hurt right now, so um, obviously she's not on TV. I don't know where they can go with this anymore. Some, me and my friend even asked, once this new NXT comes around, will they end up killing her off? Possibly, because I'm not even sure what it's going on. I think it jumped the shark a while ago with the whole Tongan death grip shit. And, you know, um, the mist coming out and, you know, just murdering uh, Mercedes Martinez out of nowhere. So, I'm not even sure where this is going. But it's not working to be honest. It's, it's just not working. Ember Moon talked about, um, I mean, she said it was her birthday and uh, whatnot. Um... Moon talked about Kaylee Ray talked about it, so like, you want to match next week? Uh, let's go. Obviously, as my friend Steven would say, Moon's obviously obviously is gonna get jobbed out to um Kaylee Ray next week. So yeah, I think we all know where that's gonna go, okay? Moon, I don't think they've really done enough for ever since um, you know, Shotzi went to the main roster. So my friend at point, with Moon's basically a utility pay player right now. Just a good hand when you think about it. So they're not really doing nothing with her right now. Um Samoa Joe, I uh, had a sit-down interview with Wade Barrett, talking about being in Las Vegas, you know, during the tryouts and whatnot, and talk about he had to fly back for his match against Cross, and, you know, the legacy of this title, the carrying on, and now he is the champion right now, but who is going to be the guy, person to step up and get this title to seize their destiny? Roderick Strong went against um, Ikman Jiro, 
Uh, I guess the Diamond Mine has added new members now. Um, I still don't know who the other guy is with them. Uh, that has not, I don't even think I know his name. But I guess they have the, the Creed brothers now. Brutus Creed and Julius Creed. Ever since they got rid of Tyler Russ. I believe these guys are like uh, collegiate uh, wrestlers and whatnot. So I don't know who they are that well. They haven't wrestled yet. But they have an interesting look to them. I'll say that. Then again, uh, apparently WWE be assigned more people to performance center today anyways. I think they um, what signed Gable Stevens' brother. Um, the Usos' younger brother. Hey man, and they're trying to sign indie talent out here apparently. So, um... They really signed people I heard like six feet over and whatnot. So um, we've been hearing the rumors about with the new changes coming. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, next, Eo and Zoe Stark were in the back. Casey Ken's are on uh, Kane Carter. They're also talking about their tag title match um, next week. Saying, guys, you aren't even friends like us. We're best friends and everything. And we're a real team. As Eo says, I don't like any of y'all. But um, I got a tag with you. You on my team. So we better win. And even Zoe Stark like, yeah, good job, Eo. And EO was gone before she could even give a fist bump. Cameron Grimes, uh, talked about the whole Ted DiBiase, who told him, you know, it's only one million dollar man, so I guess he still has the replica version of the uh, million dollar title, which doesn't make sense. You bring in the million dollar title, now you take away the million dollar title. After one story. You're either going to continue with this belt, but not. Nah, they're not going to do that. Grizzly and Vets showed up, I guess they challenged Grimes, and Grimes ended up dropping the belt on one of their foot and whatnot, but I just bring in the million dollar title just to take it away. It makes no sense. Main event though, Tommaso Ciampa, Rich Holland. Very solid match. I enjoyed it. Really good. Um, Ciampa getting the win with the Willow's Bell. Um, basically right after Pete Dunn and crew got in an attack, MSK uh, came up for the save and whatnot as uh, Nim and Ciampa ended up fighting off the heels to close out the show. I enjoyed the main event though. This was not bad with um, Ciampa and Rich Holland. Obviously, it was just really good matches on NXT tonight. It wasn't nothing bad. It was a solid show, but, you know, as my friend would say, um, nothing really impeccable happened. You had some good wrestling matches, but did really anything happen important? Not really. Obviously, with these tape shows happening for the, you know, past few weeks now and, and the final one being next week, obviously, they want to wait to do all the important stuff when they actually come back. With all these changes coming to NXT, we don't know what's about to happen to NXT, okay? Y'all know about the new logo. Y'all know about Nick Khan saying, you know, all these changes are coming. Will they be for worse? Will they be for better? I'm not sure. I know a lot of people aren't liking it right now. I know a lot of people don't like the new NXT logo. I say it looked like a 90s Nickelode uh, the 90s Nickelodeon logo, okay? I don't know why they wanted to change it like that. Even have Wale's music playing in the background. I'm not sure where this is going to go. Okay, some even think it's like an old school hip hop graphic type of thing with graffiti. I could see that too. Some people believe this is like a kid made it. So I don't know what the future holds for NXT right now. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen in the next couple weeks and where all, all these changes are apparently going. Come on, apparently they don't want to sign any more indie talent too. They want to train their own guys. Listen, I go. I recommend go watching that Nick Khan interview. You want to know more details of all these changes that are coming to NXT. So. I'm not sure what's about to happen in NXT, okay? I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's going to get better or I don't know if it's going to get worse. But I am very interested to see what's going on, though, okay? But other than that, though, that's my review of NXT. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace out. I will be back tomorrow night for an AEW, um, you know, Dynamite review and whatnot. I guess the go-home show before All Out. So, I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.